been beating us because I'm an obstacle. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty big set of rocks we're trying to climb here. Oh, nice job. Right, the deadbolt does it, but the uh, CRC did not. Trying to avoid the pond. Trying to avoid the water hazard. Be tough. Yeah, these little guys aren't. I don't want to. Put a little hand to guide on that one because I do not want to roll this thing over in that water. I haven't plastic dipped the battery at all, so uh, I don't want to get that wet. And that puddle is pretty deep, especially for these little guys. Not a big deal with the big trucks, but little guys, it'd be a big deal. That bolt seems to do a little bit better, you know, with the uh, weight a little bit forward, uh, farther forward on the chassis compared to the Jeep. As far as where the transmission is mounted in the vehicle. Same wheelbase on both vehicles. I'm sure everybody knows that. But the uh, transmission and transfer case on the Jeep is more central mounted in the center of the chassis. And the deadbolt is a little bit further forward, getting the weight a little bit farther over the front axle versus the Jeep. So the Jeep has longer trailing arms on the front axle, with longer links on the front axle than the deadbolt does. Deadly run here, since these little SCX24s do not pre-roll. This is a uh, quite a deadly downhill. Running the stock shocks on my Jeep SCX24. My brother is running the hot racing shocks on his. I do have a set of hot racing shocks for mine as well, I just haven't put them on there. A little bit on the fence about them. I do have a slight body lift on my Jeep there. I do have a video on how to do that as well. As long as that little piece of bark doesn't flip me over, I should be okay. And that went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Like that. Look at our two vehicles here side by side, deadbolt, jeep. Uh, as we can see here, the transfer case and transmission on the deadbolt is a little bit farther forward than it is on the jeep. Jeep is more centrally mounted on the chassis. Deadbolt's a little further forward, get the weight further over the front axle. It makes it a lot better for going uphill. Uh, we can obviously see our longer trailing arms on the jeep versus the ones on the deadbolt. And that is partially the reason it just flipped over there. hand to gab there. <laughs> Moguls are pretty deep for these little vehicles. <laughs> Trackside Mac. SCX24, Jeep Wrangler, 
JLU CRC SCX24 Deadbolt. Uh, first attempt out on the adventure course with these little guys. <laughs> nice recovery. Nice recovery, huh? Yeah, I didn't do that one. There's a mountainous rock for this little truck. Push from the deadbolt here. There we go. There we go. Let's do a little pushing and pulling through here. Mm -hmm. Get myself stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Deadbolt makes it through on his own. Nice job there, Ian. Again with the deadbolt. I'm looking for a rollover here, it looks like. I <laughs> got her back up right yes. again. Getting our first real scratches in on the CRC here. Kind of a first outdoor run on it. No, no kind is about it, it really is his first outdoor run. All been indoor up to now for the most part. Rather, either in the house or in the garage, one or the other. Get myself a little bit hung up here. Change my angles and made it through. We got a little rollover going on with the deadbolt here on the side. Doing the curly shuffle. You are doing the curly shuffle. I don't know if you're gonna be able to make yourself out. No, and you have to pick that one up, man. You don't know, this is actually a, a crawler course for the big trucks, for the TRX4s and the TF2s and the Ascenders and Gen 8s and all that good nonsense. One tenth scale, one tenth scale course here. So climbing through with these little guys, <laughs> it's like going through a boulder field for real. Taking the path of least resistance. <laughs> Normally, I'm usually trying to take the hardest path I can find. Best just going up around the way I did. See if you can see if you can keep coming that way. Yep, cut back hard. Spray yourself up. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty gnarly little area over here. And a little gnarly little descent right here. Oh, I just got lucky with bumper clearance on that one.
they made it. LU CRC, mainly stock with a small body lift on it. And the front bumper has been slightly adjusted, pushed in a little bit, and trimmed down slightly. The dead bolt is uh, mainly stock as well, other than rolling on a set of hot racing aluminum shocks. I also have a set of hot racing aluminum shocks for the Jeep JLU CRC. I just have not installed them yet. Not on defense on whether or not I like those. I really don't like the way that they mount up onto the vehicle. Got their little O-ring spacer dealy deal. Really on defense about the performance too overall. Whether or not they actually perform better than the stock shocks is debatable. I guess depending on how heavy you weigh your vehicle down would definitely come into play. Got a bunch of uh, roof rack and everything else on the roof. And Bunch of top weight that would actually affect the suspension. That would probably help. up right here. Uh, let's see if I can get this on my own here. <laughs> uh, dual roll Take two. <laughs> the big rock crevasse. Tandem rollovers, both in opposite directions. How funny is that? a tough little plan. Let's see if you can get the fall into, get your passenger side to fall into that crevice once you get up there. That's pretty much how I went right there. Lessons learned. Oh, you're in it. There you go. Yeah, keep. Huh. Stuff on you, pull? Yes, I think so. Alright, well, go back up here, pull. I even knew that thing was attached there. <laughs> I forgot it was attached there. I also drilled some holes in my bumpers so I could uh, 
attach a strap to it. There you go. Bad news. <laughs> on the wrong side of the rock here. Just get kind of used to it with the big trucks being able to roll right over and no problem making it either way. Down she goes. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Get off me. Get off me. I don't go that way. <laughs> Trial and error with the little trucks here. Definitely finding our rollover points. All bad. It's all bad, man. Oh, section. You did it without a problem. Part one with the SCX24 is out on the adventure course. To be continued. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one.